Rescue workers spend long hours training to ensure that in a real emergency, everything goes smoothly. But when firefighters respond to the scene of a blaze, flames are not always the only threat they face. We begin in the small town of Blue Mound, Texas. Dispatcher Kathy Enriquez's whole family works for the local fire department there, so whenever she takes a call like the one she got on the morning of March 14, 1994, she has reason to be concerned. Blue Mound 911, what is your emergency? Someone called to say there was a grass fire north of our city. My job is to answer every phone call that comes in. I'm the 911 operator, dispatcher, and court clerk. I dispatched the Blue Mountain Brush Track to the scene. Lieutenant Mike Briggles had been a member of the force for four years. The train that day was extremely muddy, and my truck was the only truck around that had four-wheel drive capability. Our fire department is strictly volunteer. It's our protocol to wait until another firefighter responds to the station before we can leave. And the first person to arrive that day was Matt Enriquez. Matt's a real nice guy, and he's a real good friend of mine. Look too big. We can't piss him out pretty quick. Go. Normal precautions on a brush truck consist of a tethering device, also reverse lights coupled with a reverse beeper, which we hadn't installed yet. At the time we got there, the fire wasn't that big. Me and Matt assumed that it would be an easy one to tap out. There was fire on the right and left side, and the flames increased about 10 feet high. Doggy, and there was extremely good chance of getting caught in the mud. And it got to the point where I thought it was dangerous to go any further. I did not want to get my truck stuck when I was so close to the head of the fire. The way the truck is situated, I cannot see directly behind the truck. So I did not know where Matt was standing. reverse, I felt the right rear of the truck bounce up. When I exited the truck, I turned around and I did not see Matt on the tailboard, and I instantly knew what had happened. I need paramedic. The next thing I heard was Mike screaming, medic, medic, I need a medic, and I need a medic now. Copy care flight. I knew he was dispatching. It was his mother. I did not tell dispatch that it was Matt. I just told that we had a firefighter down. I know it's Matt. I just know that's what's going on. I got a call care flight. Matt was supposed to be at work. I had no idea he was on the scene, but I knew it was Matt immediately. I knew it was my son. It was just instinct. You hear me? When we continue, he was unconscious. His helmet was cracked and broken. And the first thing that went through my mind was I'd killed one of my friends, one of my firefighters. Hey. 